Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be going over the three NBA 2K23 editions so you can find out which one will be the best fit for you. So first up, I just want to mention that pre-ordering the game has no downsides. It's literally going to be the exact same cost. It'll auto download the second it, the game actually releases if you pre-order it. Plus, you get a pre-order bonus, which basically just gives you 5,000 VC, 5,000 my team points, 10 my team promo packs, a boost for each my career skill type, and a boost for each Gatorade boost type, as well as a Devin Booker my player jersey and a 95 overall Devin Booker my team free agent card. So there's no reason not to pre-order the game if you already know you're going to get it, unless you want to wait till the price drops, which I got 2K22 in like March for like 16 bucks, but I definitely waited a little too long on that one because I couldn't make any videos up to that point. So I know I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering the game because there are no downsides to this really. But next up, I want to discuss what the rewards are for each of the three versions. So first up, we have the base NBA 2K23 game. And this is the one with the Devin Booker cover. It just gives you the game. If you pre-order it, you also get the bonus. Now, if you get the Michael Jordan edition of the game, you get the game, obviously. And you also get a two hour double XP coin. 100,000 VC, 10,000 my team points, 10 my team tokens, 23 my team promo packs, four cover athlete t-shirts, and much more. Next up, we have the 2K23 Championship Edition. This is one with the Jordan jersey on it. And you get all the same rewards as the Michael Jordan Edition, along with a 12 month NBA League Pass subscription, 10% XP boost for both my team and my career season progression, along with an MJ themed go kart. If you really don't care about the NBA League Pass subscription, or if you don't know what it is, it's basically just a service that allows you to watch whatever NBA game you want live on any device. So it's usually $200 a year, and because you get a 12 month subscription, you're basically paying $200 for that and then getting the game along with all these rewards for free. So this one is the best value wise, but if you don't want that, it doesn't make sense to pay the extra 80 bucks just to get the XP boost as well as the MJ themed go-kart. So I think overall the, the base game is 90 bucks off rip. The Michael Jordan edition will be 120, this is Canadian. And then the championship edition will be 200. So I think Overall, if you don't want the League Pass, the Michael Jordan Edition is the best value. If you don't want to spend those extra 30 bucks to save you countless hours of time spent just trying to gain VC, go with the base set. But I think overall, the Michael Jordan Edition is by far the best value because with 100,000 VC, I'll give you a quick rundown. Just to keep in mind, you also have the extra 5,000 VC from the pre-order bonus. But this 100,000 VC would get you to approximately this overall right off the bat with the Michael Jordan edition. So I think that one is definitely the best value. But anyway, if this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on the next one. I'm out. I'm ballin' with injuries, Kevin Durant. I risk it all for all of the fans. We finna go ahead and run out some bands. So much potential they don't understand. Shorty, you supposed to be holding my hand. You were supposed to be part of the plan. Everything's different when you got a man. I might still go like your place on the ground. That's what that niggas be hatin'. They sayin' I can't make a banger. I did it again. Shut out, little Tucker. We finna look with the bros and go ahead and hop in the band.